tip of the week is brought to you by Northwest Outfitters, located at the Village at Riverstone in Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. Hi, I'm Ryan from Northwest Outfitters, and I'm here to talk to you today about some of my favorite nymph patterns. Nymphs are very important in a trout's diet. They say most of the time trout are eating underwater, and a lot of times if you're wondering what fish are biting on, one of the easiest tricks to do is kick over a couple rocks and take a look around. So these are some of my favorite selections for the Inland Northwest. We've got the ability to imitate stoneflies, caddisflies, and mayflies. I think mayflies are one of the most important staples, so I kind of concentrated on that a little bit. But we'll start out with the stonefly pattern. First up, we've got the Pat's rubber leg. That's a big buggy fly that doesn't look like it would work, but fish eat them. Take my word for it or go give it a shot on your own. Next up, we've got the fast water prince. The prince nymph is one of the largest staples, I'd say, around the country for catching fish subsurface. It's got a bead head on it. This one's got some rubber legs on it. Works really well in fast water. Next up, we've got the hare's ear. The hare's ear can be used as a mayfly pattern or caddisfly. Kind of just depends. It's more of an attractor. And we've got the red copper john. Great fly anywhere in the northwest. We've also got the salvation nymph. It's a little bug ear. It's good for low light conditions, very shiny, and it's got some rubber legs. And then we've got the bubble back PMD. And that imitates a pale morning dawn mayfly that's formed a bubble on its back and likes to float to the surface and fish key in on them when they're very vulnerable in the water column. And those are some of my favorite nymph patterns in the Pacific Northwest.